possessed superior strength. The engineers began the task of constructing two power monsters. The metal marbles began to take shape, and after long hours and hard work, Megasaurus and Transaurus were born. These mechanical beasts stood over three stories tall and weighed 50,000 pounds. 1,000 feet of veins and arteries fed their mechanical hearts, pumping at 50 gallons per minute. Their blood pressure exceeded 2,500 pounds per square inch, giving them five tons of crushing force in each of their mammoth claws. They could lift 30,000 pounds to their gigantic mouths, their massive jaws attaining 15,000 pounds of fighting force. To ensure total destruction, each power monster was equipped with 200,000 BTUs of burning power. Once tested, they would then set out to search for and destroy the ugly mutations before any further islanders were killed. Having been built on 10 chassis, they were not only power monsters, but also all-terrain vehicles, giving them the ability to go anywhere. They had no problem going deep into the brush and finding their prey. Once their enemy was discovered, they would transform and then attack, destroy menacing mutations. It wasn't long until the creatures were all destroyed and the Power Monster's work was done. Many years later, a passing freighter entered nearby the island and its crew and captain went ashore. The captain discovered the rusted Power Monsters in the woods. He was so intrigued by these machines that he traded for them and brought them back to the United States. After months of careful restoration, he put them on tour so that everyone could see